Frankly, this was, I believe, the greatest political movement of all time. There's never been anything like this in this country and maybe beyond. I'm standing here outside the Australian Embassy in Washington the day after the election. No doubt the Ambassador Kevin Rudd is inside working out strategies to see how Australia deals with this new president when he takes office in January. Lots of questions to be answered about Trump and his approach to the world. Before I even arrive at the Oval Office, I will have the disastrous war between Russia and Ukraine settled. And it will take me no longer than one day. What will he do with Vladimir Putin when it comes to the Ukraine conflict? How will he deal with President Zelensky of Ukraine, who doesn't want to have a settlement in the Middle East? How will Trump deal with Netanyahu? He has promised to be very supportive of Israel and the Netanyahu government. What will actually happen in practice and how will that unfold? And of course, for Australia, the big question of China. Trump was tough on China in his first term. He's not likely to be softer now. But Taiwan will be nervous because Trump has been equivocal about US military support for Taiwan, saying they need to pave their way more. Taiwan did take all of our chip business. You know, we used to make our own chips. Now they're made in Taiwan. 90% of the chips Advanced are made in semiconductor. Taiwan. If China takes Taiwan, they will turn the world off, potentially. And of course, there's Australia. How will Australia's relationship with its closest ally continue during this next four years? Will it remain as strong as it always has been? How will Trump deal with the August nuclear submarine deal? And of course, can Australia dodge the 10% tariffs that Trump is threatened to place on every country sending imports into the US? So lots of big questions to unfurl, and no doubt the smart minds inside the building behind me will be trying to do this at this minute. We made history for a reason tonight, and the reason is going to be just that. We overcame obstacles that nobody thought possible, and it is now clear that we've achieved the most incredible political thing. Look what happened. Is this crazy?